So I'm Martha Whitman, and I'm, I can see that many of you do know me because I've been in the co-op world for a long time. I'm associated mostly with La Montanita. And I really love reflecting back on our co-op and creating that story in my head. And I'm always come to the same conclusion that growth has been great for La Montanita. And with each new store and with the uh, establishment of our warehouse, we have just been able to do that much more in our community and really contribute to the health of our regional food systems. So we've gotten to a certain place, but I wondered what it was that helped us get there. And there have been a few particular circumstances, the turning points for us. But the first one was when we opened, and it was because of our location. So we were a co-op that opened in 1976, and I don't know how well planned it was, but we opened in probably the highest density you can get in Albuquerque, which isn't saying a lot, we're so spread out, but we were by the university. And what that did was continually buy us time as we learned through our mistakes, because we always had a, an influx of new people discovering us. Then the next best thing that happened, and this was in the mid 80s, we heard wild oats was coming. So while many of you didn't have that threat coming in that early in your life, we did. And we were in a funky place. Floor tiles coming up, ceiling tiles falling down. That building has been raised, and justly so. But since we heard about wild oats, we got into high gear, and we just started saving money and, and going in the right direction, and we got to the Knob Hill store. And I think it was within a year that wild oats actually did show up and close to our Knob Hill store. And we, we made it. And we grew. And we grew in strength and knowledge that we decided to open a second store. Great idea, and it almost killed us. So the next turning point there is the co-op realizing we needed a different level of expertise to run our stores. And it didn't happen by magic the first time. We had some struggles finding the right person. But we also realized along that way, we had to be willing to pay for it. And I think we were one of the food, first food co-ops that really started looking at the wage structure of GMs and upping the level. And we got someone from the conventional grocery market. And I think, in retrospect, the biggest thing he did for us is he gave us a picture of what we could be. Because he came from the outside, he wasn't bound by 15 years of how we did our business. And it was magic. And one of the things that came out of that is he started looking for the opportunities. It wasn't like, just let's keep our engines going with what we're doing, and maybe we'll figure out how to add a second store. It was, where are the opportunities? And the opportunities came from existing stores. And uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. They kind of happened at the same time. So we went from two stores to four stores in a p within a year, even less than a year, wasn't it? Of two months. <laughs> 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 the staff knows. <laughs> One was in Gallup, which is about two and a half hours west of here, and the other was in Santa Fe, an hour north. The one in Gallup was a buying club that was struggling so much, and they just said, please, please, let us merge with you, please. And the Santa Fe store was a natural foods market, and the owner wanted to retire, and she really didn't want to sell out to the big, big supermarkets. So we acquired both of them. And it was, it was pretty heady. And I was just so impressed with our membership because we had forums around these ideas because essentially what we were saying to them is we're taking La Montanita Albuquerque capital and putting it in other cities. And there was overwhelming support for it. In fact, I don't remember any dissension once people understood what the projects were. The reason the board was able to go with that leap of two to four stores is our manager gave us a very compelling reason that there's safety in numbers. That we could have four stores and we could have one that hit a roadblock of some sort and the others could boo him up. And that has always convinced me. And it's hold, holding true today. We've had stores that have good growth, something happens, the other ones can hold it. It also allowed us to have our distribution center because it needed support 
from the stores while it gained its traction. We've always done local. Who hasn't bought produce from a pickup truck outside the receiving door? But we began to see how we could impact that. And the warehouse is part of that. I'm not recommending that you open up a distribution center. <laughs> but when Mark asked me to express the impacts of these actions of having multiple stores, we also now have two others, by the way. We have a very small grab-and-go at the university, and we have a store across the river, which we call the West Side Store. So the impacts, I think, are fairly obvious. The first one that always comes to mind are jobs. We have created jobs in this community, and we have created jobs that allow for leadership to spring up. So I think we are adding to the pool of professionalism in our city. And then we all know the, the effect of the local dollars staying in the local community. We have strengthened our local economy. By supporting local so much and really backing it up with a distribution system, we are supporting the conservation of agricultural land. More people are able to grow their product and know that they have a place to sell it to. The other side benefit, when you grow, you've got more pennies to spend. We can do more in the community. We have a veterans farm project. We have the loan fund, which I'm not sure if you're all familiar with it, but it actually pulled member savings into one CD at the credit union that is used for collateral for local producers. That's the kind of power you get with we. So why I'm telling you all this, I'm asking you to shift your perspective. Not confine your identity to what you've been, but to what you could be. It might not mean opening a second store. It might mean a merger. It might mean that you bring in conventional product onto your shelf. I don't know your answer. <laughs> All I have are these past few minutes to suggest that you have other ways of being, and I wish you much luck. <laughs>